A bold move. The Bank of Canada's surprise rate cut. The Bank of Canada made a significant announcement slashing its key interest rate by half a percentage point. This unexpected move, a departure from the usual quarter point adjustments, signals a shift in the bank's monetary policy strategy. Governor Tiff McClem's decision comes after a period of aggressive interest rate hikes aimed at curbing inflation. This bold cut suggests that the bank believes the Canadian economy is at a turning point. The decision has sparked widespread debate among economists and market watchers. Some applaud the bank's proactive approach, while others express concerns about potential risks. The Canadian dollar experienced immediate fluctuations following the announcement. It's clear that this rate cut will have far-reaching implications for businesses, consumers, and the overall economic landscape. Macklem's logic, why a jumbo cut was necessary. Governor Macklem, speaking at a recent event, provided insights into the rationale behind the bank's decision. He emphasized the need for a substantial cut to stimulate economic activity. Macklem acknowledged the challenges posed by high borrowing costs, which have weighed heavily on Canadians. The governor expressed his belief that the current economic climate requires a more forceful response than incremental adjustments. He highlighted the bank's commitment to achieving its 2% inflation target. McClem stressed that the rate cut is not a sign of weakness, but rather a strategic maneuver to ensure sustainable economic growth. The governor's remarks suggest a delicate balancing act. The bank aims to support economic expansion while remaining vigilant about inflationary pressures. The Price of Stability – How Rate Hikes Tamed Inflation The Bank of Canada's decision to implement a jumbo rate cut comes after a period of aggressive interest rate hikes. These hikes, initiated in early 2022, were a necessary response to soaring inflation rates. The bank's actions, while effective in curbing price pressures, came at a cost. Higher borrowing costs put a strain on Canadian households and businesses. The aggressive rate hikes led to a slowdown in economic activity. This slowdown, while anticipated, raised concerns about a potential recession. The Bank of Canada, recognizing the potential consequences of prolonged high rates, decided to change course. The recent rate cut signals a shift towards a more accommodative monetary policy stance. Finding the balance understanding the neutral rate. Central to the Bank of Canada's current strategy is the concept of the neutral rate. This economic term refers to the theoretical interest rate that neither stimulates nor restricts economic growth. It's the sweet spot where the economy can operate at its potential without overheating or slowing down. Determining the neutral rate is a complex task, as it is not directly observable and can shift over time due to various factors. The Bank of Canada, like other central banks, uses a range of economic indicators and models to estimate the neutral rate. These include inflation expectations, labor market data, and measures of economic output. Finding the neutral rate is crucial for setting appropriate interest rates. If rates are too high relative to the neutral rate, they can stifle economic growth. Conversely, if rates are too low, they can fuel inflation. Section 5. Macklem's Toronto Address, Key Insights and Concerns Governor Macklem, speaking at the Logic event in Toronto, provided further context for the bank's recent rate cut. He emphasized that the Canadian economy is in a period of transition. Macklem acknowledged the challenges of navigating this uncertain environment, stating that the path back to price stability is narrow. He reiterated the bank's commitment to data dependence, meaning that future rate decisions will be guided by incoming economic data. Macklem also expressed concerns about the potential for global economic headwinds to impact Canada. He cited geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, and slowing global growth as factors that could weigh on the Canadian economy. The governor's remarks suggest a cautious optimism. The bank recognizes the positive signs of easing inflation, but remains vigilant about potential risks. Section 6. Navigating the Unknown the neutral rate in uncharted territory. The current economic landscape presents unique challenges for central bankers worldwide, including the Bank of Canada. The COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and ongoing supply chain disruptions have created an environment of heightened uncertainty. These unprecedented events have made it even more difficult to determine the neutral rate of interest. Traditional economic models, 
often based on historical data, may not fully capture the complexities of the current situation. The Bank of Canada, like other central banks, is navigating uncharted territory. It is relying on a combination of data analysis, economic modeling, and expert judgment to estimate the neutral rate in this evolving environment. The process involves carefully monitoring a wide range of indicators, including inflation, employment, consumer spending, and business investment. Section 7. The Impact on Canadians, Mortgages, Spending, and the Job Market The Bank of Canada's recent interest rate cut will have a ripple effect throughout the Canadian economy, impacting businesses and consumers alike. For individuals, the most immediate impact will likely be felt in the mortgage market. Lower interest rates typically translate into lower mortgage rates, which could provide some relief for homeowners with variable rate mortgages or those looking to renew their mortgages in the near future. The rate cut could also boost consumer spending. With lower borrowing costs, consumers may feel more confident about making large purchases, such as cars or appliances. Additionally, the rate cut could stimulate business investment. Lower interest rates can make it more attractive for businesses to borrow money for expansion or to hire new employees. Section 8. Global Uncertainty – The International Factors Influencing Canada's Economy The Canadian economy does not exist in a vacuum. It is deeply integrated into the global economy and is therefore influenced by international developments. The Bank of Canada, when making monetary policy decisions, must consider the global economic outlook. Currently, several factors are contributing to global economic uncertainty. Geopolitical tensions, particularly the ongoing war in Ukraine, continue to disrupt supply chains and fuel inflationary pressures. China's economic slowdown, driven in part by its strict zero-COVID policies, is also a source of concern. The Chinese economy is a major engine of global growth, and its slowdown could have ripple effects around the world. Section 9, A Delicate Balancing Act, The Risks and Rewards of Rate Cuts The Bank of Canada's decision to cut interest rates is not without risks. While the move is intended to stimulate economic activity and support a soft landing, it could also lead to unintended consequences. One concern is that lower interest rates could reignite inflation. If demand outpaces supply, prices could start to rise again, eroding the purchasing power of Canadians. Another risk is that the rate cut could fuel a buildup of household debt. Lower borrowing costs could encourage Canadians to take on more debt, potentially leading to financial vulnerabilities in the future. The Bank of Canada will need to carefully monitor these risks and adjust its monetary policy stance accordingly. Section 10. The Future of Canadian Monetary Policy, Data Dependence, and the Long Game The Bank of Canada's recent interest rate cut marks a significant shift in its monetary policy stance. The move, a departure from the aggressive rate hikes of the past year reflects the bank's evolving assessment of the Canadian economy. Governor McClem has emphasized the bank's commitment to data dependence. This means that future interest rate decisions will be guided by incoming economic data, rather than predetermined timelines. The bank will be closely monitoring key economic indicators, such as inflation, employment, and consumer spending, to assess the impact of its policy decisions. The path of future interest rates remains uncertain and will depend on how the Canadian economy evolves in the coming months. The Bank of Canada is prepared to adjust its monetary policy stance as needed to achieve its inflation target and support sustainable economic growth. Section 11. Conclusion. The quest for equilibrium. A journey, not a destination. The Bank of Canada's search for the neutral interest rate is a continuous process a journey rather than a destination. The global economic landscape is constantly shifting, influenced by a myriad of factors, from geopolitical events to technological advancements. The neutral rate is not a fixed point but rather a moving target that central bankers must continuously strive to identify. The Bank of Canada's recent interest rate cut, a bold move in a time of uncertainty, underscores the challenges of navigating this complex economic terrain. The bank's commitment to data dependence transparency, and its unwavering focus on its mandate provide reassurance that it is equipped to guide the Canadian economy towards a sustainable and prosperous future.